Anthony? What? We're filming. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anthony. This is Vivo Vintage Designs. Today, my mother taught me how to do some flowers with the alcohol inks. And I'm going to do my best to show you what I've learned. Do you want to show the ones that you practiced on? Yeah, so we have, uh, I think this was my first one. And then, where's? I think I did this one Yes, next. he did. Look how well he did. And then this one was my latest. Okay, so explain why you're using the airbrush and not the uh, Ranger hand blower. So I was using the Ranger hand blower and then my hands got sore and tired. I spend a lot of time on the computer, so they're not what they used to be. But I got the airbrush now that I've been using. It's set to 40 PSI and it's been a lot easier for me than the Ranger hand blower. A lot less painful. <laughs> okay, so... Alright, so um... I guess I'll just get started showing you my flower. <laughs> so he's going to be working on Kirkland photo paper. And before he gets started, I will remind you that all the products used will be listed in the description box just below the video, along with links. And if you have any questions regarding the techniques you see my son use, just drop them in the um, comment section. And I, not he, <laughs> will be getting back to you. All right, and b by the way, this is his girlfriend, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the black ink. I'm gonna create my center. That's enough. And then, gently blow it out. <laughs> I did it again. All right, you can grab another piece of paper. You use too much ink. It looks like a dinosaur. I was going to say, it looks like a T-Rex. Yeah, right? Oh, like you're a child, doesn't it? Okay, all right. Okay, round two. Okay, this time we're going to use less ink to start the center. That should do it. Put this on low. Want to make sure it's completely dry, which I think it is now. Next, get my hair and I'll angle it for my first petal. Start by dripping it on the outside, moving it towards the inside. Take the blower. I'm going to start with a small petal first. See if I can get a little bigger one this time. How do you get larger petals? I keep it farther from the center for a little bit longer before I push it out. And you have to make sure you draw your petals completely, right, Anthony? Yeah. That you're not doing? I see. See that line? See that line? When I don't dry them completely, I get the ripple effect in here. Yeah. Okay, but all in all, you're doing great. Try you just got to remember to dry it all the way. That's a nice big one. Let's see if we can get a couple more like that. You can blow over that one. Yeah, I didn't have you don't like alcohol. It. Yeah. Using a good amount of alcohol is key to bl uh, blowing out large petals and not having them get spindly. And then he learned how to blow the spindles back in. That's okay. You can still blow over that. Yeah, we'll just move on. Yeah, you can move on and blow a petal over it later on if you don't like it. So 
something I started doing that I like also, instead of trying to angle my air, is angling the paper. Okay. That's very smart. So my son Anthony was, has not, he did not get the artistic gene from me. Um, he's more, he does IT work. He's been doing that for about 16 years. So when he said that he would do this video with me, I was very happy because uh, I thought it would be funny. I thought it would be a lot of fun as well as funny. I was surprised to see the amount of control that he has with the airbrush for someone who's never tried it before. Um, the Ranger hand blower did not go well. That was actually, that was funny to watch. But he mastered the airbrush very quickly. He's never used one before. I may have created a monster. <laughs> I like that one. What's that? I like that one. You like that one? Uh -huh. Do one more here. Try and clean up a little bit of this. You heard what he just said. Let me do one more. He's obviously my son. Blow it, dry it all the way to the end. See what's happening? There you go. And one more, one more. <laughs> that sounds so familiar. Okay, that's as happy as I think I'm going to get with it. Okay, so now you're going to do the center? Now I'm going to do the center. All right, so explain what you're doing. I'm going to get a little bit of white over here. That's a snow cap. Off. We'll get a little brush over here. What kind of brush is that? A little one. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a micro brush. <laughs> All right, so explain what you're about to do. So I'm going to get a little bit of white on it. And then in the center here, I'm going to decide where I want the light to come from, which I think is over here. And I'll start doing circles, starting at the top, the direction I want the light to be coming from. And as the paint runs thin on the brush, start to go around the rest of it. Just little dabs, get a little more on it. And again, starting from the direction of the light source. Just do little dabs. And then as it runs dry, work my way around the rest of it. You finished? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm finished with that one. Okay. Well, that looks pretty darn good, Anthony. For someone who's never, ever done it before, you're pretty amazing. It's only my third try. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think you'll try alcohol ink again? Absolutely. I'd definitely love to try another one next time. And? And I, it's nice to see that I'm getting better at certain things. And the more I do them, because my first one there didn't come out too well. I'm still working on putting down my first layer of ink, but it's a work in progress. <laughs> Do you have a good teacher? The best. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.